Good morning, all. Um, oops, sorry about that. Uh, hey, this is Dr. Dobbs again. I wanted to just uh, get back with you and do a little update. Um, well, updated syllabus, updated uh, requirements. Uh, again, I apologize for for uh, uh, essentially being delayed in a lot of these things. Um, uh, a combination of being slammed here at work and then, of course, being sick uh, a good bit has really put me behind. Um, and also, just this, um, as I mentioned in the first class, this is the first time I've done the, the I guess you call it a split class, you know, with people present, people in Tuscaloosa, that kind of thing. And so I had to just, took me a while to get my brain around that a little bit. So um, I've updated the syllabus, and so I want to take the chance to go back through the syllabus. Uh, and, and uh, again, I changed a couple of requirements. Um, uh, anyway, so we'll, we'll just take some time. And again, this I've added a few things over here. Uh, you can see with the, um, um, I, I've actually linked a new video, the entire video, Islam Empire, Empire of Faith. There's a good bit of it that I'd often use in class. Uh, even after the part I showed the other day, after after Muhammad, you can see this, the the expansion, and, and especially a really good section on the Ottomans. But really, you could watch the whole thing, and it, and it would help you a lot in, uh, with a number of the terms and so forth that I won't be I won't be covering in lecture uh, or in class. And of course, the course recording uh, that I'll I'll probably put this one under there too. But again, right now, what's under there is uh, is of course the first class, and it was a huge uh, a huge uh, uh, file, so it took a long time to try to compress and upload, but it's it's linked onto my YouTube channel, so it's there now. And again, part of it is the video, so you could even slip through that uh, if you need to. Uh, uh, and the other things. Well, let me just first start. I'll go to course documents, and we'll look at the syllabus again. And again, I apologize for, for uh, making so many changes and so forth, but hopefully, let's see if I can get this to pull up. All right, save. All righty, here we go. It'll come up. All right. Um, let me close this out. All right, so of course we've run through a lot of this already. You have the text there. Some of the changes and requirements, and again, I talked about in the first class, usually I would have a little map exercise and a quiz. Uh, couldn't really figure out or didn't have the time to figure out how to do a remote quiz for everybody. So the map exercise uh, will just be 25 points. And so what you'll be able, you'll do is again here on here on the um, uh, blackboard you can see just this map exercise. This is the actual map. Now if you find another map online that looks it looks like it, but this is just a, a blank map that you can print out and use. Okay. But uh, and then this is the map exercise document. I'm sorry, I forgot with Chrome, you got to do all this stuff. Um, and you can see here, <clears throat> all I want you to do is take that blank map and you're going to label that map with these countries, cities, territories, rivers, bodies of water, okay? And with the map, if you can, and again, when, when you send it to me, for those of you that are in Tuscaloosa, uh, and if you wanted to, you could stick it in the snail mail. Uh, you could, you could, uh, I, and I guess I, I could even give you a, a mailing address if you want to do that. But obviously, the easiest thing is just scan it and send it to me. Uh, but I'd, I'd like you to add some color. Uh, this is not an artwork, but you know, just put a little time into it, differentiate, differentiate the countries and the, the bodies of water and that type of thing. Now, used to again, like I said, we'd have a quiz on this. Uh, but this will just be the exercise, okay? And again, you might think, well, hey, this is just busy work, you know. But again. Uh, my assumption is maybe some of you don't have a lot of familiarity with the Middle East, but also this is going to help supplement your grade. So it's 25 points. Uh, that'll be essentially an easy 25 points. Um, okay. Now going back to the syllabus. Um, then okay, I've changed up the midterm and final requirements a little bit. Uh, midterm and final, we will on those tentative dates. Again, we're going to test online. This will be the more objective uh, midterm and final. Uh, and so, the, as we talked about before, the midterm will be a combination of, of multiple choice, true, false, fill in the blank, and identification. Um, and that will be the ones that will, you'll use Lockdown Browser and Respondus uh, and Monitor, which again, I'll, uh, uh, I'll post some information on that 
uh, over you know over the uh, next week or two before before the exam. Uh, but that's the objective part that you'll take on your own uh, with the uh, uh, you know online. Okay. Now what I've decided to do, and I mentioned you know before. I would have the essay, I'd give you a series of essay questions. You'd have to be responsible for some, and then I'd just pick one. What I've decided to do is just take the mystery out of it. You're going to have two what we call take home essay questions, and here they are. Okay? For the midterm one, which the, the, the essay itself will be due February 11th, so if you wanted to, you could submit it before the exam, or you could wait until after the exam and do the essay later, however you want to do it. But here's the, essay, here's the question. Okay? And then I already have you the, the, the final essay question, okay? Now, these are sign pretty significant essay questions. I mean, each of them should be, you know, again, at least a good, uh, the first one, uh, a four or five page, and the second one especially probably five or six page, at least, you know, uh, it's, it's a, they're all substantial questions. But again, you have time to work on it. Uh, as I put up here, you'll complete the essay questions on your own, and you'll email them as a Word document to me. Now you can send them either as, as an email, as I, well, of course, my, the, the best one to send it to is my Gadsden State email address, which we'll talk about in a second. You can also attach it as a, as a message, and I just noticed, I, find, I, I realized that the messages, uh, the tool link was not up. But this is the message uh, here. You could you say create a message, click to find me. Again, this is the 400 course. Okay, put in there. You know, essay number one, and there is a place to uh, believe. Once, once you, well, yeah, here we go. Uh, attachment, you can't attach it. Okay, so you can either attach a, a, a message, or you can send it as a word document to my gas and state address. I, I, either way is fine. It, it, you know, I, I. I guess I have a preference, but it doesn't really matter, <laughs> okay? So either one of those is fine. So by February 11th, you'll send the essay in. And that's one I've decided is I upped it a little bit to 30 points. Uh, again, since we're, we're not doing the quiz and some other things uh, for the maps. But uh, so 30 points each for those essays. And again, put, put, put the time and effort into it. And the biggest thing is I put up here is answer the question, okay? So again, as you read through a question, and I'm sure you guys all know this, you know, if it asks, for instance, what are the similarities and contrasts, say, between Turkey and Iran, and, and, and then you need to have in there similar, similarities and contrasts. Uh, of course, a hint, and I know you guys, uh, I hope, know this, obviously with multiple part questions, you would, you would expect the, the different parts to be different sections in the essay question, you know, at least paragraphs, maybe multiple paragraphs there. Okay, so again, Four or five pages, at least for the first one. I would expect probably five or more for the second one. Uh, but just, again, it's using primarily Cleveland and Smith texts. You can use notes. You can use other things. But uh, you know, again, these are things I'm, I'm uh, especially the first one. I'm not going to spend. I'm not going to really be able to lecture on. I might be able to, to, of course, more the second one. But still, it's such an immense thing. We won't cover it all in class or in lecture. And so, uh, you know. Those are the essay questions. Okay, so all together, in a sense, the midterm and final, including the essay, is 260 now instead of uh, instead of just the 240 that I had before. Okay, uh, then the books. Uh, this is pretty much still the same um, for the for the and, and I but I backed up the Esposito book. Okay, I, I originally had it. I believe the uh, calendar. I had it for like next next Saturday. Uh, I went ahead and backed that up to uh, to January 24th. Again, we don't meet, but you'll just attach it as a Word document and send it to me. Uh, this is the book review format, and hopefully, uh, if today, if I'm able to find, uh, I'm going to post a couple of, uh, or at least one, maybe two uh, samples, uh, old samples of actually when I was in, uh, <laughs> I may even pull a couple from an old grad grad school class. I'll give you a sample of a book review that I'm looking for. Uh, but again, so the es Esposito book is a uh, January 24th. The Boykin book will be March 21st. And again, several of you have sent me your mailing address for the Boykin book. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'll wait. Uh, if, if you haven't sent me a mailing address, please do that, and hopefully then this this week I can I can I'll get the copies of the book over to uh, um, um, Roger at the uh, Gadsden Center, 
and he can send them send them out to you guys. Now, if you if you have if you have one or you want to order one on like half.com or something like that, to just send me a note saying, hey, I'm going to invest in this, and you could probably get one for ten or fifteen dollars. But uh, again, it's out of print, so it's it's not as easy to find as some books. Uh, but I'll I'll send that copy to you, and then of course eventually you would send it you know you would send it back, uh, or or have have folks at the school you know hand mail it up to. Uh, um, back up to the Gazin Center, okay? And then for graduate students, the Walt, Mearsheimer and Walt book will be due April 11th, okay? So those are basically still the same, all right? All right, primary document and reaction paper. This is where it's changed a little bit too as far as, uh, again, the difference of not having everyone in class. And um, anyway, this is what I've decided to do. The primary doc document uh, analysis and reaction paper, we, we talked about kind of how to go about doing it, okay? And then uh, here's here's the different topics. I just ended up listing, there's seven up, seven all together in the class, but I just came up with five different topics, okay? And as I said here, these are based on the Smith book that I have, which is a sixth edition, okay? So if you have a fifth edition, or I, I think there may be seventh or newer one, <laughs> if, there's a, if there's a different edition, your chapters may be different, okay? So if you look up chapter 5 point, you know, 5.3 in the documents at the end of the chapter and it's something other than this, then look at the other chapter, okay? But I went ahead and, and listed the name, so even if the, even if the, uh, the, uh, the, the chapter number is different, you know the, the, the uh, 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 what I'm trying to say, you know what the, the actual documents are. Uh, and again, I apologize when I'm trying to record just sitting here looking at a, computer screen, I get distract, distracted very easily and I have my phone with me and my, my father-in-law is actually in the hospital and so we're on this family mass text thing and I, and I get, I, I keep hearing the little, little thing going off. But anyway, so I apologize when I get distracted so easily. Uh, so again, what, what I'll let you do, instead of just assigning these, uh, you choose one of these papers, okay? Now if you choose one, two, or three, then the paper is due March 28th. Okay, and and I, I I want at least one person. I mean, I'd like for you know, um, I'm, I'm afraid that I'm well. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm just gonna let you choose. Okay, so if you choose one, two, or three, if you want to knock it out and get get over with, if you look through this and you look like these are going to be interesting, uh, then submit to me, email or message me, saying I'd like to do paper one, two, or three, and and uh, and then. That's when it'll be due. If it's paper four or five, it'll be due the last day of, of class, which is April 25th. Okay. Now again, when you when you do these, you'll uh, message me via Blackboard message or Ardobs at Gazin State. Uh, I know some of you. Uh, again, I, I do try to check the, the Alabama email uh, somewhat often, but I, I just don't get to it as every day. Uh, the Ardobs at Gazin State, I'll see it every time it pops up. So that's that's the quickest way to get it to me. Okay, so I would say sometime, if you can, this week, uh, decide, look, flip through the Smith book, or as soon as you get it, if you haven't gotten it, but uh, flip through the Smith book, look at those documents, uh, and and let me know uh, uh, which one you'll be doing. Okay, so I won't necessarily set a deadline on those, but I definitely say by the by the next time we meet, which is January 31st, uh, I'll need to know what what uh, what what paper you'll be doing. In fact, I'll just set that as a deadline, January 31st. If I haven't heard from you, then January 31st, I'll make sure, uh, I, uh, and maybe if I don't hear from you, I can assign something to you. How about that? I'll reserve that right, okay? All right, and then the current event analysis, uh, which I had to add. Again, I, I apologize. I left off the, the last thing. One, of course, was due today. Uh, yeah, I just realized, I'm sorry. Uh, let me see here, the 24th. Let me back up here. I got my dates mixed. I, I was going to change this. I'm going to do the Esposito book. Won't be due until the 31st. Okay, that's what I because I, I got. I was thinking uh, today was the 10th. Today's the 17th. Okay, so the Esposito book will be due uh, will be due the 31st, which is basically the day of class. Okay, so because um, I know if you haven't gotten the book or, or something like that, so the Esposito book will be due the 31st. Uh, so again. Um, are we going to current events? So there was a current event due today. I will take it through the weekend in case you just get this this weekend. And again, since I made some changes, I'll be a little flexible in that first 
current event, I'll take it the next day or two if you can, if you need to, okay? And again, the best way to send it, the Gazan State Address or, um, or the Blackboard message, okay? And again, you read through this. If you, if you, I would like for you to either copy and paste or link the actual article and then a, a Word document, uh, again, choosing one of, for, there's five of them, but at least for, you need to do at least one uh, American source, at least one European source, at least one Israeli source, and one Arab source, and then your fifth one can be, you can double up on whichever one of those, okay? So again, uh, all together, uh, the, 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 you know, the total for the, for the 400 course, you have 460 points possible, I believe I counted up correctly, uh, and then for the 500 course, uh, 510 points possible. Uh, and, it, and, and so hopefully that helps clarify a little bit. Uh, and I'll go in and as I said, the one change uh, I'm making right now is that Esposito, uh, uh, Islam the Straight Path, will, the book review will be due the 31st instead of the, the 24th. So you have two weeks on that. Um, and then, and, and then uh, as I said, the current event, get that in as soon as you can the next few days, I'll take it okay, for, for five points. All right, let me uh, let's go back to the, to Blackboard and see what else. All right, so uh, again, under course documents, let's see, paste the syllabus, the terms, the PowerPoints. As I said, you can watch the video. I, I am going to try to uh, to uh, per, to do some some lectures here and post it. As I said, I I, I hate with a passion just sitting here talking to the screen. It just it just seems so strange and you guys could probably tell I, I kind of, um, you know, I talk with my hands and I feed off of, of eye contact and people being involved and that kind of thing. And so uh, as, as hard as it is for me to do this, I will, I am going to try to post the lecture. And what I was looking at, I think I told you on the terms that we would begin, let me uh, open the terms back up. <coughs> that we would begin for sure the next class um, up about uh, Young Turks. So what I'll try to do is in a, in a kind of an ancillary lecture, uh, I, may, I may try to move back and cover some maybe on, on, on the Shia uh, Sunni um, divide. Uh, you may notice on some of the, I have some personal pictures on, on some of the the PowerPoint uh, when I lived in uh, South Lebanon, which is predominantly Shia area, I got to, to witness uh, some certain things, um, um, you know, that were interesting. Uh, anyway, so I'm, I'll, I may try to to to, to provide a little bit uh, in this period, maybe the rise of the Ottomans and so forth. Which again, the the inst the, the video does a great job with that. But but if, if I'm not able to, again, where, where I'll start. Uh, is is going to be the Young Turks uh, when I come back. The, the the Ottoman Empire facing challenges from outside, from the great powers, from Europe. How do they respond and so forth? And of course, leading into World War One, which is again essentially the beginning of what we generally say uh, is, is modern uh, history, since this is the modern Middle East. So we'll spend the rest of the time talking about the 20th century, essentially, uh, as we as we scroll through. Okay. So let me see, let me close that back out. Um, let's see what else. So I did post the messages, and again, the maps are there. Course recording right now. If I do post, I'll let you know. Uh, if, I, if I post another, um, uh, gosh, sorry, I see my brain, uh, lecture, it, it'll be up under here. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I needed to cover. I think that's about it right now. As I said, probably under course documents is where I put uh, the, the sample book reviews and so forth. Okay. All right. I think that's all for, for now. Again, uh, the first current event, if you haven't submitted it um, the next day or two, the first book review will be due by the 31st, sometime the 31st. If you're coming, if you're coming to the Gadsden Center, if you want to bring me a hard copy, that's fine too. Um, Actually, I take that back. It's probably better if you you send me a um, a Word doc so I can I can store it in a uh, folder and so forth. I kind of have a 
uh, have it stored a little bit better. So again, the 31st Esposito, first current event, as soon as we as soon as we can, um, and then um, and then after soon after the second class, uh, we'll plan on again February 5th is my target for opening up uh, the, the midterm. Okay. Alrighty, guys. Hope you have a great weekend, great long weekend if you're if you're off uh, Monday, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.